hello everyone today we will discuss about the introduction about the food analysis in that the introduction of the food analysis food analysis is a discipline dealing with the development applications and study of the analytical procedures for characterizing the properties of food and their constituents the developing th developing a theoretical and practical understanding of the methods used to analyze the foods there are the two methods chemical analysis and physical analysis to ensure the high and consistent qualities of the foods in the food industry then the definition of the food analysis food analysis is uh, nothing but the uh, analytical procedures used to provide the information about the different characteristics of the foods such as the composition structures physical chemical properties and sensory attributes here is the definition estimation of the main components of the food using procedures that allow the reasonably rapid and acceptable measurements of the various food fractions without the need for sophisticated equipments of the chemicals then the basic principle of the food analysis technique is to analyze the food and to discuss their applications to specific food components for example lipids proteins water carbohydrates and the minerals the proximate analysis of the food which includes the original terminology and alternative terminology in original terminology which includes the moisture ash crude fats crude protein nitrogen free extractives crude fibers and alternative terminology which includes the loss on dry mineral elements fats ether extracts proteins carbohydrates available carbohydrates unavailable carbohydrates fibers dietary fibers non starch polysaccharides these foods are analyzed by the scientist working in all the major uh, sectors of the food industry which is in including the foods manufacturers manufacturers then uh, ingredient suppliers analytical service laboratories government laboratories and the other university laboratories then uh, adulteration adulteration method for the development in food analysis due to the adulteration there are the many types of the adulteration of the food in 18th century food adulteration not a serious problem but the food adulteration and the deception in the 18th centuries occurs high value foods substituting for the cheap often hazardous material then what is mean by the adulteration adulteration is nothing but the legal term adulteration is nothing but the what it's a legal term it's meaning that the food product is failed to meet the legal standards that is mean by the food your food product is not acceptable by that uh, of that corresponding industry one form of the adulteration is an addition of another substance to a food item in order to increase the quality of the food items in a raw form or prepared form which may results into the loss of actual quality of the food items it means that when we are adding the adult adulteration items into the food products it will it will uh, reduces or loss the its actual quality of that food items then now uh, there are uh, various types of the adulterations are there intentional adulteration and incidental adulteration in uh, intentional adulteration which occurs the which includes the substances sand 
मार्बल शीट्स स्टोन्स मड टॉप टाल्स शार्क पाउडर वॉटर मिनरल ऑइल्स एंड हार्मफुल कलर्स आर दर इन इंसिडेंटल अडल्ट्रेशन द सब्सटेंसेस एडेड विच आर द पेस्टिसाइड्स रेसिड्यूज देन ड्रॉपिंग्स ऑफ द रिडंट्स लार्व इन फ्रूट्स अदर एग्जाम्पल्स आर हेयर मिल्क सैंपल्स कंटेन द लीड क्रोमेट देन देन द विनेगर एंड लेमन जूस देर इज अ अडल्ट्रेशन ऑफ सल्फ्यूरिक एसिड्स दैट मीन देन रोस्टेड सीरियल्स एंड पर्सेस और वेजिटेबल्स आर एडेड इन टू द कॉफी एज एन अडल्ट्रेशन इन टी स्पेंड रिड्राइड टीब्यूल्स आर in sugar sand or dust is added in milk which is a very well known example to all of us in milk there is a adult, there is a adulteration of the water starch gums and soda poison berry extracts which gives the flavor and the color and intoxicating effects these adulterations are used or added into the beer mm, excess salt and water for better flavor added into the butter and uh, in the chocolates there is added the starch and ferric oxides the next part is the food analysis and the uh, very important part of the food analysis is the quality the sum of features characteristics and properties of the products which bear on its ability to satisfy stated or implied needs that is mean by the food industry is highly competitive and the food manufacturers are continuously trying to increase their market share and the profits quality control in quality control process the operational techniques and activities which are sustain quality of goods and services goods and services that is the qc staff is 100% inspect car cases car cases and abattoir in canary check sins fluids ph etc laboratory staff carry out the analytical test here is the different work about the qc staff laboratory staff qc staff uh, 100% inspect the car cases and laboratory staff is carry out the work about the analytical test that is the dairy plant fat test and freezing points phosphate test then direct microscopic uh, counts are there no, lab staff may be conduct the sensory analysis also in the in food industries there are the food safety is very uh, important point and one of the most important reason for the analytical foods uh, from both of the consumers and the manufacturers also stand point is to ensure that the they are safe okay a, a food may be considered to be unsafe because it contains a harmful microorganisms the harmful microorganisms uh, for example the uh, salmonella listeria and the harmful microorganisms as well as the toxic chemicals for ex- toxic chemicals for example pesticides and herbicides pesticides and herbicides or extraneous matters for example the glass wood metals 
or insects mites which are included into the any uh, external mites then we will discuss about the quality values of the food analysis there is the legal values are hygiene additive residue contaminants and compositions then nutritive quality values are national nutritional guidelines undesirable that is the additives and residues then next is the quality value is health overlaps with the legal and nutritive values food standards that is the health hazards during the pregnancy qualifying the value of the food categories technological value in technological value heat and eat then next is the less processing in sensory value like or dislike measurement of the quality where the senses next is the socio ecological value in that uh, food packaging versus pollution is occurs conversation of the rain forest to cow pastures and influent into the waterways the next point is the quality which may be evaluate may be evaluate or may not be evaluate attribute say which measures the quality and character of food products and variable says which measures the con- quantitative characters of food products in next point is the food chemistry in the food chemistry there is the study of chemical processes and interaction of the or biological and the non biological components of the foods the biological substances include such as the meat poultry uh, then beers uh, milk these are the examples it is similar to the biochemistry okay biochemistry is ex- uh, well known examples are the carbohydrates lipids proteins or minerals but it also includes the uh, area also that is the such as water vitamins minerals enzymes foods additives or colors then flavors etc in food industries the food processing discipline is a very important part of that the food analysis technique in this food analysis techniques either enhance or to prevent them prevent the food from the damage 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 the food from happening therefore the food safety is the very useful for the food analysis technique the basic principle of the food analysis technique is to analyze the foods and to discuss their application to specific food components then chemical processes we are discuss here the chemical processes chemical processes in that the interactions of all biological and non biological components of the foods we need to food analysis which means the um, all biological and non biological components which are present into that foods added it's are these are the very necessary to uh, to learn about the chemical processes or the study about the chemical processes in food analysis the food components in the there are no very various types of the foods and uh, various types of the components which are added into the foods for examples uh, waters carbohydrates lipids proteins vitamins minerals enzymes 
attitudes and more etc etc during this process your different types of the reactions exploring and changes that may be occurs during the food processing and to control it by the food analysis it means now uh, during the food analysis food processing there are the many incidents are occurs then there is a need of the food analysis is must or is a it's a most important part of that analysis this whole process of the food analysis technique is uh, measured by the near infrared spectrometry or spectroscopy that is the nir it is based on the absorption of electromagnetic radiations at the wavelength in the range of 780 to 2500 nanometer in the range of the wavelength 780 to 2500 nanometer the in the spectroscopy this food analysis process is occur and this near infrared spectroscopy is used routinely for the compositional fractional and sensory analysis of the food ingredients process intermediates and final products thank you so much